Hey, what's up, guys? It's Raining Ravens back at you with another LSPDFR stream. Oh, wait, is it a stream? Guys, this is my first ever YouTube premiere. It's also my first ever GTA LSPDFR video instead of a live stream. You know, I've decided uh, since I've streamed this game a couple times now, I think the best way for me to upload LSPDFR content on my channel is via videos because. When I try to stream it, the game just crashes at different points, and it's a headache, an absolute headache, to bring back and reset. It usually takes four to five minutes every time. So I said, forget it. I actually said some other words that are not so stream friendly. Um, and decided, you know what, I'm just going to upload videos from now on. They're going to be short videos, just taking you on tour, or, or duty if you will, uh, performing different tasks on, the, uh, on a police department. Uh, today we're playing as uh, LSPDFR Highway Patrol. We're playing the State Trooper. Uh, we're doing kind of some. We're going to be doing some callouts. We're going to be taking some calls for service, uh, but mainly we're going to be doing traffic stuff. So hopefully we catch some speeders and uh, maybe a couple drunk people. So without further ado, you can see the the sun is going down, and as such, we're going to go ahead and black out. Nope. Oh, we're going to go ahead and black out. There we go, and uh, see what happens. Alright, so it looks like we've got some nightfall here, um, and I'm running traffic right now, looking for any vehicles that are going uh, 70 miles per hour or above. I know a couple just pass us by. Uh, I've got the speed set to 65 miles per hour here, so really I'm willing to give someone a break up to 70. I feel like if you need more than that, I need to pull you over and talk to you. Uh, that guy's doing a 71. I was about to get him. So, we're looking for anything over 70. By the way, guys, until we find someone speeding, uh, go ahead and ask me any questions that you may have um, for future videos. If you have any suggestions, I'm always down. Um, I'm not really used to doing these YouTube premieres, but from my understanding... Um, oh, that guy's 72 now. From my understanding, uh, once this YouTube premiere is done, uh, the whole archive will be available on the channel. So, looks like we're not really getting any kind of major speeders. We're getting some 72s. And do I have the right to pull someone over in a 70, a 72 and a uh, and a 65? Yes. But, you know, there's a difference between the, the color of the law and the letter of the law. So, let's be honest. Nobody actually does the speed limit. If it says 65, it means you can go a little bit over. That guy's going 72. Technically, I could pull him over, but I'm I'm looking for something more egregious than that. If he was going 73 or more, I may have got him. All right, that guy's going 76. We're gonna go ahead and get him. Gonna be a white uh, coupe, I believe. Oh, let's see if I can get him to pull over for me. All right, why don't we get you? Uh, why don't we get you pulled over right here? Go ahead and kill the sirens. And guys, bear with me. Um, I'm still trying to learn the controls for LSPDFR. It's a little bit different, as you can imagine. Uh, but I am doing my best. I'm doing my absolute best. So, here we go. By the way, this car, this charger I have is so sick. You should see the floodlights on this thing. Actually, I could just show you right now since I'm doing a traffic stop. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. Look how be beautiful that is. So, we are going to right away let dispatch know about the plate of the vehicle we are pulling over. That way, if the car does take off, we kind of know a little bit about the person driving it. Assuming it's not stolen, we, we can trace it back to their residence and that kind of thing. So, uh, dispatch isn't coming up with any flags for this one, so it should be a pretty uh, straightforward um, traffic stop. Oh, probably don't need the firearm yet. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? It's Raining Ravens with the LSPDFR. Can I please get your driver's license and insurance, please? Any idea why I pulled you over today? Uh, let's see, that's not the question I'm looking for. There we go. 
Uh, let's see. What do I want to ask him? So, speeding. You're traveling over the posted speed limit, sir. I'm sorry, but I have to be... I I'm going to be late to my appointment. Well, you know what? We've all been there, and I understand. So give me a second, hang tight right here. I'm gonna go ahead and run to my car. I'll be right back. So we're gonna run him. Understandable. I mean, he did. He was doing a 78 or a 76 in a 65. That's over 10. That's 11 over. So, and we've all been there. Where we're running late to things. So we're gonna go ahead and run him real quick. Don't want to take him take up too much of his time and make him even more late. Uh, let's take a look at his vehicle. He's valid, valid. It is not stolen. We're good. License is valid. And he's not wanted. So, we are just going to let him go. Uh, pretty sleek little ride. So, we're going to go ahead and let him go. We're not going to take up too much of his time. We're not always going to have to give out tickets. This is good policing, by the way. I mean, you don't have to always give out tickets. So... All right, sir, uh, do me a favor, just slow it down. You're not going to get a, a ticket today. You're just going to get a written warning. Um, just try to take it easy in here, especially at night when there's animals crossing the road. Uh, just be mindful to your fellow drivers. All right, so here's your warning, and you are all set. Have a good night. So that's one traffic stop for the evening. Go ahead and turn our lights off. And we'll be right back and see what else we can find. Alright guys, so I ended up uh, switching my spot here. Uh, I was sitting in the same spot after that one traffic stop, but some stinkers kept flashing their headlights at one another, letting them know where I was hiding. So I figured I'd come over here, grab me a quick cup of coffee, and um, just monitoring traffic for now, you know and uh, waiting for dispatch to give us something interesting to go to. Speaking of, looks like uh, one of our... Looks like one of our ALPR just picked up on something. Dispatch, you can go ahead and put us on that. We're going. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find uh, where this vehicle's at. Um, like I said, this call was generated through an ALPR. Uh, if you don't know what that is, that stands for Automatic License Plate Reader. Uh, normally, cities have them hidden everywhere. Just just hidden everywhere, you know? And what it does is it reads your license plate, and it immediately reports to the local authorities um, if your vehicle contains a wanted subject, or if the vehicle itself is stolen or anything like that. I know here in Vegas, uh, every major hotel's... Uh, valet parking area has a dedicated uh, ALPR so if you're gonna steal a car and think you're gonna come and stash it in one of our parking garages here uh, good luck because those are th those are all ALPR here so let's see it looks like this is gonna be our suspect vehicle calling unit 1 Lincoln 18 approach with caution yeah they're having us approach with caution all right, I'm not gonna pull him over just yet. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of tail him a bit. I'm pretty sure he knows I'm pulling him over, but we're gonna try to read his plate, or at least give it to dispatch so they have it before we pull him over in case he runs. All right, so a traffic violation, a warrant issued. Proceed with caution. All right, so he has got an active warrant. Uh, that's what the ALPR picked up on. That's very good. So we're gonna find a good spot to pull him over and go ahead and execute the uh, traffic stop. All right, lights green, and we're stopped. All righty. Uh, why don't you go ahead and pull over, let's say, right here. Alright, and uh, maybe a little bit further, further up, like, let's say right there. So we're not causing any kind of traffic jams here. It's kind of a tight spot. 
That's perfect. That'll do. All right. So, um, we're going to go ahead and turn on our floodlights. Like so. And we're going to go ahead and call for backup. Just in case, because we could be dealing with a, a volatile situation here. Uh, things like this could escalate rather quickly. So, we'll wait for our, disp our uh, backup to get here. And, uh... We'll make contact with the subject's vehicle. I hear him pull him up. There we go. Oh, looks like it's not going to be highway patrol after all. Looks like they're sending city units out here. Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, so, thanks for coming. Uh, looks like an, one of our ALPRs picked up on his vehicle. Uh, he's got a—he's an active felon, but I'm not really sure what it's for. I'll get his ID real quick. Hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, oh, who's... Somebody's getting shot. Uh, yeah, that's probably not going to be good. I'll tell you what, man. If you want, you go ahead and handle that. Looks like they got some more serious things going there. Go ahead and get that. For real. Yeah, go ahead and get that. Oh, they got him. It's all under situated. Alright, so... Alright man, can I get your uh, ID? This is uh, Raining Ravens from the Los Santos Police Department. Thank you very much. And also, can I get the ID for your passenger as well? Thank you. Alright. Stay right there for me. I will be right back. I am not sure what's going on in the world around us. But we're going to go ahead and run these guys real quick. So again, the ALPR usually is not wrong, but they are known for having some degree of uh, not being very accurate. So we have an alert on this vehicle, as you can see right here. Uh, when we pull it up, it says insurance status. No, it's not insured. Uh, that's definitely the guy we pulled over, and he's got an active wanted status. But we want to know what is he wanted for. Uh, let's see if we can pull that up real quick. So, passengers Rachel, but we're looking for C's Narquila. I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so he's got an arrest warrant for property theft, shoplifting. 39 years old, date of birth. All right, so uh, we are going to go ahead and pull him over. Well, we already have him pulled over, but we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm not going to arrest him just yet. We're going to go talk to him real quick and see if he's aware of the situation. Alright, Mr. Narkila, uh, do you happen to know that your vehicle is not insured? Is that a legal requirement? Oops. Yep, that's definitely a legal requirement. Um, also, do me a favor, if you don't mind, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Oh! They've both got weapons. Step out with your hands out. I'm gonna hit my panic button. So we've got every local unit coming to this now. Put the gun down! Oh, looks like she's down. Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Put the gun down. Okay, well she just got iced anyway. My partner just iced her. Wow! Wow! How are you still alive, lady? Get down. Get down. Oh my goodness, these officers are relentless. How are you still alive, lady? For real. Excuse me. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Wow. Oh my goodness. Guys, what was that? 
Is, that's not why I called you here. Uh, you think she's still alive? You wanna check her out? Yeah, she's pretty dead. Yeah, she's pretty dead. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call the, uh, the coroner for her. Dang, man, you guys are ruthless. Backup needed in Morningwood. Yeah, she's all kinds of messed up. But, probably be a great addition for my Instagram. Got it. Filter should ought to fix that up. Alright. That's done. We're waiting for the coroner to get here. Should be here any second now. What? Whose horn is that? There they are. Life and death are illusions. We are in constant state of transformation. If you say so. Alright, so cause of death was shot by a handgun. Yeah, no kidding. Shout out to my backup. Alright, so coroner go ahead and went ahead and took care of them. Oh, looks like they've already they've killed Mr. Inequal or whatever his name was. He's dead too. I'm hoping they come over here. I'm hoping I don't have to, uh... Are the coroners coming here? I might have to call them again. Yeah, may have to call them again, unfortunately. Are they turning? Please tell me they're turning. Alright, they're coming over here. And they're just gonna drive right by. Alright, see ya. Definitely gonna leave this guy down here. Guess I gotta call a different corner for him. Assistance required on Morningwood Boulevard. That was quick. I mean, they were only halfway down the block. Cause of death, shot by a handgun. I'm pretty sure I shot him, or maybe I may have, may have uh, pistol whipped him. Because he did come at me with a knife. So. Alright, man. Hey, look. Thanks for uh, helping out and getting that other car towed. Appreciate it, man. I'm all set here. Thank, Thank you. you. What a wild day. What an absolutely wild day. What a day. Alright. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, so uh, we are back where we started the shift. On the highway, as we were supposed to be. Uh, we're kind of waiting for traffic uh, to kind of speed up a little bit. We're definitely not going to pull anyone over for speeding here. As you can see, it's the morning commute. The graveyard shift is almost over and people are getting to work. So... If uh, dispatch has nothing else for us, we're going to go ahead and close off the day. Attention all units, we've got a domestic disturbance in Del Perro. Response uh, we're probably going to have to send city units on that. It's not something highway Attention goes on. All units, we have a possible disturbance, a silent alarm trigger. A vehicle with an insecure load. Units respond code 2. We're going to go ahead and pull them over. Dispatch, you can put us on that. We'll go ahead and uh, attempt to locate that vehicle. Report a van. Alright, so it looks like that van, it's, it's going to be a van we're looking for. It was reported uh, in this approximate area. Uh, let's see. Dispatch, can you uh, repeat the vehicle description, please? Citizens reporting a van. That's it? That's all we know? Alright. 
we will find this van. Apparently there's a van with a uh, insecure load, which could be a traffic hazard, you know. If it goes fast enough and falls off the back of the truck, probably not a good thing. We're just going to go ahead and run that light because I don't want this guy to get away. Totally avoiding the guy that's driving the van on the sidewalk, by the way. Alright, so apparently he's last spotted in this area. And we still don't have an updated uh, vehicle description. We know we're looking for a van and that's about it. Nothing in that alley. I don't see a van, guys. We may have lost one. I don't see a van anywhere. I mean, we're definitely tracking him if he's still moving this way. But I am not seeing a van anywhere. Looks like another unit's making a uh, traffic stop in the area. Alright, where is this guy? Oh, I think I see it. I think... What is that? Okay, dude. This is... I've seen some pretty crazy stuff. Is that a... A power pole? What? Is this for real? What is this guy thinking? Hey man, I'm gonna need to cut in front of you right here. I'm pulling this car over. Alright. You know, let me back up a little bit, because I don't want this thing to fall in my car. What in the world? This is such a road hazard. I don't know what this guy was thinking. Stay back 50 feet. More like stay back 500 feet. Alright. Dispatch. Would you copy a plate? I ended up spotting that vehicle you are talking about. What happened? I uh, guess it's not working. We're gonna go ahead and make contact with the... Oh! He's taken off. He's taken off. Dispatch, I spotted that vehicle. He's taken off on me. Uh, requesting any additional units if you have them. Go ahead and put the air unit on us too. I don't see this guy going very fast. Uh, current traffic conditions are light, uh, traveling approximately 35 miles per hour, continuing to blow through uh, active red lights. Alright, so it looks like we have several units responding on this. Oh! I thought that was going to be a good spot to pull him over. Guess not. I'm going to try to box him in and hopefully the units from the, uh, the rear can slow him down a bit. Nope, he's not going for that. Alright, dispatch, he just lost the, uh, the light pole he had secured to the top of his vehicle. He left it on Vespucci Boulevard. Have a unit go and pick that up, please. Go ahead and block that road off. I think he might be trying to get onto the highway.
All right, dispatch. He spun me out. Uh, I'm still taking primary on this call. All right, we may have to incapacitate this vehicle. I think we might have him pinned. Okay. Alright, dispatch. She's changed his course of movement. We are no longer in the highway. We are now on Nicola Avenue off of Mirror Park. Or Mirror Drive, rather. Alright, we're going to have to ramp up our pursuit here. We need to be more aggressive with this guy. Pull over. This guy's not having it. Yeah, these pit attempts are very unsuccessful. They're just leading to more power poles being left in the street. Alright. You guys get them. You take primary. Or not. You're too slow. Man, this thing's causing some real havoc. Oh, we may have got him. Dude, there's no clipping this thing. Uh, dispatch, we're gonna need some more units on this man. This guy's overpowering us. Okay, he's out on foot. Dispatch, he's out on foot. Alright, dispatch, we have him in custody. Show one in custody. All right, man. Why are you running? Let's search him real quick. One gram of cocaine. Yep, that might do it. That might do it. All right, man. Come over here with me. We're gonna go ahead and put you in this nice officer's vehicle. Kindly offer to take you to jail. And uh, remember not to drop the soap. Alright, now. What was this guy really hiding? Let me go ahead and turn my sirens off because good lord that's loud and annoying. That was nearly a 15 mile chase. All right, cool. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, sweet slide, bro. What a mess. What an absolute mess. All right, let's take a look inside here and see what this guy was hiding.
Small photo and a camera. Yeah, I could. I guess I could do it that way. Um. Wow. What a mess. What an absolute mess. All right, so we are going to need this vehicle towed. We need a tow service. As soon as I can find it, I'm pretty sure I already skipped over it. There we go. And we need a large flatbed. Or probably just a large tow truck. I don't think this thing will fit on the flatbed. Is it a cop vehicle? No. No, we don't want to... There we go. Alright, so that car is being towed. Uh, the suspect is being transported to jail. We can go ahead and, just to alleviate some of this traffic, we're going to go ahead and tell dispatch to end this call. So. What a day. What a day. So, looks like that vehicle is being put on the trailer. And uh, that'll conclude the first shift. I mean, we started off with it being nighttime outside. And once again, it is nighttime outside. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be putting out more and more of these videos if you guys like. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, and until next time, I will see you. Jesus bless all you guys, and go Ravens.